My name is Kurt Brown, also known as Saint Rambone. I am formerly a uh, resident of Los Angeles. I would never live there again. I lived there in 1992 during the Los Angeles riots. I was there during that time. I started living there in the early 80s when I served in the United States military. I was held down and forcibly injected in Los Angeles in 2001 after I'd worked for a federal banking regulatory agency, the FDIC, also known as the Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation in San Francisco. I had reported what I saw as obvious money laundering and murder, and all what I'll see is a technological war. It's not just limited to the FDIC, I see it as the United States federal government in totality. I would not be surprised to see the Soviet Union in control of the United States government and having us baffled thinking that we have some sort of government. Of course, it could be something else, and it. It seems like it's not human. I would not be surprised. I'm not saying it's an alien. I'm saying human beings can be conned very easily, and we can be manipulated. We are only human. Uh, I see people running from the police in Los Angeles. I was held down and forcibly injected by federal government in Los Angeles. Uh, the VA actually approved of it. Uh, actually, they allowed it to happen on VA property because I trusted the VA. I was a, I'm a disabled vet. I would never serve in the military again. I actually served in Los Angeles. I would slit my throat before I would ever walk into the government building now to serve them. And I applaud all who attack them and who can remove them from power. I'm tired of being abused. I'm tired of being discriminated against. They have ruined my life. They have ruined my career. They have ruined my marriage. They have taken away everything except for my will to fight. And they will take that away the day I die. And I hope that they soon follow me because I see them as dirt just as they see me as nothing. Uh, I see that those people are being attacked in that park in Los Angeles. I advise you to leave Los Angeles because many in America do not like Los Angeles anyway. They see it as a, a nation that's rife with corruption. I saw it whenever I was uh, forcibly injected in Los Angeles in 2001. That was in April of 2001. I went in front of some judges there on a million dollar bill for simply owning a legal firearm, which I had in a U-Haul and a truck, which I was bringing to move back to Los Angeles. The case uh, was actually dismissed in 2004, but it still shows as a strike against me. They would not let me have a trial by jury. I want a trial by jury in the streets of Los Angeles. I want this trial by jury in the streets of Alabama. I want a trial by jury in the streets and the halls of injustice in Washington, D.C. I want the regime and power removed. If necessary, I would like to see our people form our own society separate from the regime and power as I see them as the enemies of humankind. I urge you to beware. I feel we are in a technological war. What you often see in the judge's seat may not be what you think it is. The same way what you see is in the presidential seat may not be what you think it is or it may be controlled from behind the scenes. We all know that the president is a joke, regardless of who's in there. You could put Mickey Mouse in there. Uh, I urge you, urge you to be aware there in Los Angeles. They do force injections. They did force experiments at the LAVA Medical Center in Westwood. They have proof of this on my site at Mobile Audit Club or Mobile Audit Club. Search for it on Google. Uh, they did a bunch of force injections and force experiments, and most people in the United States do not care. So whenever their followers and their regime are attacked, let us applaud those who do so. Let us see them as our people and not believe the mass media and power and their, and their power of their currency over us. We have been made into nothing more than slaves, stripped of everything, human rights, civil rights, material goods. I actually would rather be dead than to be subjected to them or to have my, uh, my descendants subjected to them or it in power. Uh, I like the, uh, what the woman said at the end. She reminded me of some women I knew from San Francisco who probably have bigger colonies than many of these people, these fascist pigs that run the United States government. Let's hope they are destroyed. Let's hope they are removed. Uh, we might have a separate nations in the end. There might be a lot of dead people. Uh, I would rather be dead than to be subjected to what I was subjected to. The federal government they forced me injected me, and then they say, oh, you're just insane. We don't have criminals in the government. Shit. Look at the government of the United States. It's a fucking, excuse me, it is a joke. It is rife with corruption. Everything about it is corrupt. Let us applaud their downfall. And let us assist in removing those in power however we have to do it. If we have to remove those in power directly or separate in our own societies. I urge you to also be aware of cast setting. I feel those inoculations and injections they often give children actually may be dumbing them down. The regime in power is nothing more than what you used to see in Nazi Germany. They do not care about anyone.
but their cells and their own, they are their own select group. They will do anything they can to push you down. I applaud all who attacked them. I encourage young accountants not to work in the federal banking regulatory agencies or in the financial systems of the federal system if they are veterans. I was warned this by a fellow veteran when I was graduating my accounting program with my bachelor's degree in accounting. I was almost a straight-A student in that. I was actually pushed out of the, uh, of the federal banking regulatory agencies one year after employment. I saw where a man had been murdered. I saw where they were issuing bank charters in California to Nevada casino uh, associates who were laundering murder or laundering money. A uh, federal prosecutor, Thomas Crane Wells, was killed in 2001 in Seattle. I do not know if he was friend or foe, but from all looks of things, he probably was friend because we are often beat down by those war criminals in power. They're nothing more than like the old Sicilian mob. They would kill anyone. It does not matter if they are killed. I applaud all who attacked him. May God help us in this growing holy war. Thank you for your video. This is Kurt Brown, St. Rambo and Mobile Audit Club, saying never served the government of the United States, never served their military. I truly regret having served in Long Beach, California, aboard the USS Reed. I would never do so again. I would never enter their building. I would actually applaud when they are attacked as I do now. I found out that they are my enemy, therefore we are enemies. I applaud your death. If you're listening to me out there in the federal government, I would rather die holding your hand than kiss you on your ugly cheek while I'm behind your prison bars or being injected. I hope you die, or I hope you are removed from power. This is Kurt Brown, St. Round Ball and Mobile Audit Club, saying, wake up America, wake up human race. They're not allies, they're not our friends, they are terrorists and torturers of the world.